How you charge and maintain your battery packs is almost as important as the battery packs themselves. Using a quality battery charger and discharger will ensure that over the years, your battery packs will not only last, but you will be able to charge them safely and easily. Spectrum has launched a new line of smart technology chargers designed to make sure that you are charging the most safely that you possibly can while ensuring that your battery packs are charged to their maximum potential. Welcome to Rock Solid RC, where in this video we are going to unbox the Spectrum S2100 AC Smart Charger. Welcome to Rock Solid RC. My name is Gary, your host here on the channel. And while this is one of our first RC related videos up on the channel, we do have more content planned. So I invite you to stick around and see what we have going on. Check out some of the other videos that we have here on the channel, which by and large actually focuses on the world of retro video games, kind of like RC Pro-Am 2 that you see playing up behind me. And if you really want to be on the leading edge, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. That way when we release new content, you're kept the most up to date. So Spectrum has their new smart technology line of battery chargers. We have the S2100 here, which is an AC smart charger. Now, smart technology really kind of started with the Spectrum DX6R. It's an Android-based transmitter that's just so easy to use. I can set up a model in my DX6R in a, in a matter of minutes. It is so easy to do. And going in and adjusting things like throttle curves, exponential, endpoint adjustment, super easy. They brought that same concept with both ease and safety to a new line of chargers represented here. We're gonna open it up, see what comes in the box, see what you need to go and get ready and be successful with it, and check out some of the menus. Let's hit the bench. Now, before we get to the unboxing, one thing that I did wanna mention is that this charger was provided at no charge by Horizon Hobby. However, the opinions in this unboxing are my own and they are not reviewing this content before it goes live. Well, I was formerly employed by Horizon Hobby. What you are seeing here, these are my own words, my own feelings, my own beliefs on the charger that you see on the bench. With that out of the way, you can see the you know pretty simple box art that you have on the cover. Gives you an idea of what the charger itself looks like. Two channels, so you can charge two batteries at once and then some, we'll get into that in a moment. Now, on the side panel here, this is an important thing that it's talking about IC3 connectors. They've basically updated the EC3 connector to an IC3 connector. Now, the nice thing about IC3 and EC3 is that they're backwards compatible. You can use one with the other and you will be just fine. So, uh, that is something to remember. Key features, let's see, provides uh, unprecedented safety and convenience. Ideal for use with Spectrum Spark batteries equipped with the IC3 or IC5 connector. Intelligent software provides reliable battery recognition for easy charging. High speed processor delivers amazing speed and performance. High visibility 2.4 inch color LCD screen works even in extreme sunlight. Uh, be interesting to see how this looks in dark though too. Compact design with rounded edge fits easily on a bench. Uh, let's see, 200 watt shared dual output capacity. So essentially 100 watts per channel. Eh, well, no, I'll bet you what you can do is depending on what you have in one, it'll uh, change what you can put on the other. Twin fans, simple touch wheel interface, easy access setup and firmware updates performed from a uh, PC. Supports uh, LiFi batteries, lithium ion, LiPo, high voltage LiPo batteries, nickel metal hydride, NICAD, and lead acid. On the back, more of the same. Includes the AC smart charger, power cord manual, um, and your specs on, on the back. It'll work with uh, 100, 240 volts, 200 watt output, uh, charge current one to 12 amps by two channels, discharge current one to three amps. I wish that was higher, at least five, but really I'd like to see 10 to 20. Max discharge capacity is five watts by two. Balancing current is one amp per cell. Uh, balance cells, it can balance two to six cells. Dimensions and weight that's in here. Let's open this bad boy up. Now I have pulled the plastic off. It does have a plastic wrap that comes on it. Uh, I have not, or I had pulled that off ahead of time. So it does come with a very nice manual. And the charger itself is in here and I like the size of it. Um, as you can see in relation to, you know, just 
can of motor spray. It's about half the height, eh, a little bit more than half the height, uh, about half the width too. So good size, a lot smaller. I've been using an Orion dual output charger for many years and really liked it, but it's huge. And I like the fact that this does have such a small footprint. Now, looking on the front of the charger itself, you have channel one, channel two, so you can charge two different batteries. Those are the IC3 connectors right there. Now, one thing of note is you do also have a balance port on either side, where normally if you have an, uh, an IC3 connector, you don't need to balance. This will allow you to use this charger with other batteries. Looking on the side, you have a USB output. And what I like about this is I can use this to power the charging stand for my DX6R. Twin fans on the back. Oh, nice. I love that connector type. It's the same connector that I have for radios, for my PlayStation, for a lot of other things. If I ever need you know, a replacement plug, I can go to any hardware store, any department store, and pick that up. Thank you. That's a really good design. Nothing on that side here. On the bottom just has your model number, output, serial number, so on and so forth. Also in the box, there's a little bit of weight to this box here, so I'm assuming that's where the plug is for your power cable. Comes out the top there. And that's all that's in here. So it's important to note that if you are going to pick one of these up, you're going to need charge leads. It's not included with this. Uh, we're going to be working on a future video that will show you how to use balance connectors, use non-IC3 batteries with this. If you have an, an IC3 battery, it'll plug right in. You don't need any charge leads or adapters. But if you're using non-IC3 equipped uh, batteries, you will need charge leads and adapters, which yeah, Horizon offers a bunch of them. You can get them over on uh, the Horizon Hobby website. You can get them over on towerhobbies.com or anywhere that sells and distributes Horizon Hobby products. So let's plug this bad boy in. There is no power switch, so as soon as you plug it in, it powers up. I don't know why the fans turn on just when you plug in, but maybe it's a safety check. Let's see what it takes. Let's read the manual and see what it takes to set up charging here. Now, if you do use a smart battery with this charger, um, the following parameters are automatically set for the user battery cell count, battery type, battery charge, current rate, and battery capacity. That's pretty cool. So here you can scroll up or down by very similar to an iPod. So task, you if you press the center button, that'll select it. Yep, you can either charge, discharge, or storage. I do kind of wish this were a rocker. It, would, it feels a little bit off to do that, but okay, so we're gonna go to charge. Battery type, LiPo. And there's where I can change my cell types. Now, I use a lot of high voltage LiPos, so I will actually switch to that. But you can also switch to regular LiPo, lithium ion, uh, LiFi batteries, lead acid, nickel metal, or NICAD. So that's good there. So it will automatically set the cutoff voltage. You can override that if you would like, but the default is set to 4.35. Cell count. I am a two cell sort of guy, so we're gonna go two cell. Current, I'm gonna charge this at their 5000s. I charge at 1C, five amp. And then if I hit start, it would start charging. Now I don't have a battery connected, so there's nothing to charge, but let's hit the back. So that one's set up. So now on the other side, let's do the same thing and it actually copied, is that true? Yep, it looks like it copied everything back. Let's go back here. It did, it copied everything over to channel two from channel one. Now let's check here though, can I have different parameters because sometimes I do run regular LiPos and the high voltage at the same time. So there's regular LiPo, cell voltage 420, 2S, five amp, back. So we're gonna have to do a little bit more diving into this. We're gonna do some follow-ups, like I mentioned. Um, let's see, from the home screen. Now you can also access the system settings menu. Channel one, smart. Okay, cannot change that at all. Backlight. 
That's what low backlight looks like. Medium. High. You can also change your touch sensitivity to low or high. USB charge on or off. Volume, you can change the volume. Completion tone, whether you want to keep going or single. I'd rather have a single just so I don't annoy the people in the pits. Split display, automatic or manual. We'll leave it to automatic until we learn a little bit more. English is what I want. System information, system self-check, and back. There are additional settings available if you connect a smart battery, such as auto storage, storage voltage, charge current, charge voltage, exception record, which basically will give you the entire record of that charged battery, and you can get back out of there too. Overall, I like the design and the style of this charger. I think this is gonna be really nice in the pits. Um, it's something that I'm gonna have to use a little bit to get used to, but definitely something that I am interested in. Hopefully you are too. So there you have it, our unboxing of the Spectrum S2100 Smart Dual Output AC Charger. I really like the size. It's, it's nice, small, compact. It's got a good weight to it. I like the fact that it's at an angle so it's easier to see when you're working in the pits. You know, the way if it's sitting here, I don't necessarily have to stand up to take a look at it. Um, if it was at a little bit more of an angle, I think I might like it a little bit more, and I do wish that it had that higher capacity discharge for, like me running a stock or 17.5 uh, motor class, having that higher rate discharge it definitely would be appreciated. Um, the other thing just to keep in mind, as I noted, this does not come with any charge leads if you are not using IC3 connectors. Now, not to worry, Horizon and Spectrum have a full line of adapters either out and available for you or already in development and they'll be coming in the near future. Going to uh, EC3s, going to IC5s and more, you'll be able to do that with this charger. Uh, same thing, any standard balance board, if you have, should work with this. I've got some older Dynamite and Orion ones I'll be testing with this. Now, the one thing that I am curious about is just to see if I can go ahead and charge multiple battery types at the same time. That's something I'm actually going to reach out to the Spectrum team and verify with them because that's important. And that's something I think you all would like to know about. If you do have any comments or questions about anything that you've seen here, anything RC related, please, as always, feel free to leave me a comment down below. You can also send me an email over at rocksolidmail at gmail.com. You can hit me up on Twitter at rocksolidstudios. We're also on Instagram at instagram.com slash rocksolidproductionsgk. And we always have the conversation going over on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash rocksolidproductions. Now, if you do want to be on the leading edge of all of our content and help support the channel, you can do so by heading on over to our Patreon page at patreon.com slash rocksolid. For as little as a dollar a month, $12 a year, you get early access to all of our content, exclusive one-on-ones with me, and a whole lot more. Plus, we give you shout-outs like these great people that you see on screen here right now, too. Now, if you also want to help support the channel, you can do so by rocking some Rock Solid Productions merchandise. Head on over to our Teespring store on screen right now. Pretty much everything we have is focused on retro video games, so if you guys remember the NES, Super NES, and N64 cartridges, we have shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts, and more with our logo and design up there, too. And again, like I mentioned at the top of this video, if you do want to stay the most informed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way when we do go public with new video content, you're kept the most up to date. We do have follow-ups planned with this charger. We're going to show you how to make charge leads, how to actually charge a battery, and a whole lot more. I am Gary. This has been Rock Solid RC. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.